guys welcome back to my channel today's video is so exciting because it's my fall book haul i'm so excited i'm dressed in fall colors i'm in my comfy chair my comfy reading chair and i have my comfy blanket i just made my coffee and i'm ready to go i need to share with you guys the books i just bought for fall i did some damage at barnes and noble but that is expected because i needed some spooky books so if you would like to see what i picked up from barnes and noble then just keep on watching today is the perfect autumn day um i know the next few days are going to be like 80 degrees so i am soaking today all up i made my espresso coffee i do sound a little congested because i still am a little bit sick um but hopefully i will be done in a few days and back to normal but i really want to get this video up for you guys because i am so excited to start reading my first book for fall and start my reading vlog i am literally so excited to just sit in this chair all day and read that's what I'm gonna do. I did some damage, you guys. It's really heavy, and I'm ready to put them on my bookshelf. The first one I'm gonna show you is the first book that I'm reading for my reading vlog, and it's called Showers in the Attic by V.C. Andrews. Most of you guys know about this movie. Very old, I think it was made in like the 80s or 90s. It's a very crazy movie. I didn't know they had a book. So I'm pretty sure the movie was based off the book. Let me just share the gist of it. So basically this mother, she had three kids with her husband. Her parents are rich, like loaded. And they did not accept her marriage with this man she fell in love with and had three kids with. But her husband suddenly dies. I don't know what for yet. I haven't even started it. And she had to move back home into her parents' mansion. But the one exception for her to move back home to get back on her parents' good side is to lock her kids up in the attic and her mom and she told her kids it's only going to be for a few weeks whatever turns out it ends up being like three years and the kids are getting abused and everything else um trigger warning there's a bunch of stuff going on in this book and um the mother just let it go because she wanted to be on her good dad's good side so they she, she could continue to live there get back on her feet later down the line she just lets it all go and does not even care that the kids are being abused at that point she basically forgets she has kids and starts acting like a teenager again and going to meet guys and whatnot and partying so it's kind of crazy i'm excited to read this i've been waiting to read this book i think it's gonna be a little spooky for a bird just flew across my window very spooky and then i'm gonna watch the movie afterwards because i watched that movie when i was like young and didn't really understand it so i'm gonna watch it after this book so this is the first book and i'm so excited to start this i did not realize how sick i was <laughs> i worked 14 hours yesterday and i came home to my body hurting so bad the next things are crescent city house of earth and blood and then house of sky and breath this is the new edition from Barnes and noble their exclusive edition because of the covers um and it's smaller so it will match the rest of my books so that's why i picked this up because when i see exclusive edition i just grabbed it i just had to um i haven't fully read these two books so i am planning on reading these soon once i get back into my reading craze and i hope i will be able to do that this fall slash winter so this is sky and breath yeah i just had to pick these two babies up I just had to one thing i don't like about these covers or the original covers are the spines i just feel like this is this looks pretty lazy it looks like the printer ran out and it just does not look clean do you know what i mean so this one is called tender is the flesh um, this is like a crazy book it's basically about like a apocalypse where people are dying and the only way to survive is to start eating human flesh so i'm very interested in beating, reading this that is just like the gist of what i got from like random reviews on youtube so i'm excited to get grossed out by this book to be honest so this is gonna be interesting and gross and i'm just really excited to read it so um i don't know if you can figure it out but i'm going down my dark academia route again and i'm really excited this is called vida nostra while while vacationing at the beach with her mother teenage sasha meets the mysterious and finds herself powerless to refuse when the unusual vague sinister man directs her to form a task with potentially scandalous consequences. Her, he rewards her with a strange golden coin. 
As the days process, Sasha carries the axe of which she receives more coins from him. As summer ends, her domineering men mentor directs her to use her gold to enter the Institute of Special Technologies in a remote village. Against her mother's wishes, she leaves behind all that is familiar. She quickly discovers the in Institute's special technologies are unlike anything she has ever encountered. The books are impossible to read, the lessons are obscure to the point of maddening, and the work refuses memorization. Using terror and coercion. The school does not punish students directly for their transgressions and failures. Instead, their families pay a terrible price. Yet, despite her fear, Sasha undergoes changes to defy the dictates of matter and time and experiences which are like nothing she has ever dreamed of and suddenly she could ever want. A brilliant dark fantasy combining psycho psychological suspense, enchantment, and terror, this internationally acclaimed Russian novel receives its definitive English language translation in the hands of Julia Percy. I don't know if you can understand that, but that sounds so interesting. So, maybe if I have a dark academia reading reading vlog, you might see this. You probably will see it. And then, about the last two books in the series of Shadow and Bone, because I want to read this series so bad. Um, I just haven't had time to read it. So, these are the other two books. I have Shadow and Bone, and yeah. The series I have them now so I can read them I don't want to have another Twilight crazy time where I was reading one book at a time and I had to wait two days for the books to arrive from Amazon that was crazy because I was obsessed um but yeah so here are the last two books and I'm really excited so the last two books are literally my most anticipated books for the end of the year I hope that I will be able to read both of them I'm going to try my hardest to, but one of them is like really huge. So the first one is My Dark Vanessa. I will be reading this for a reading vlog. I'm so excited. It's crazy. A teacher is obsessed with a student. There is a lot of trigger warnings and it's not for the faint of the heart. So let me read it. In 2000, bright, ambitious, and yearning for adulthood, 15-year-old Vanessa becomes entangled in an affair with Jacob Strain, her magnetic and grateful 42-year-old English English teacher. 2017. Amid the rising wave of allegations against powerful men, a reckoning is coming due. Strain has been accused of sexual abuse by a formal student who reaches out to Vanessa and now Vanessa suddenly finds herself facing an impossible choice. Remain silent, firm in the belief that her teenage self willingly engaged in this relationship or define herself and the events of her past. Alternating between Vanessa's present and her past, my dark Vanessa just poses memory and trauma from the breathless excitement of a teenage girl discovering the power of her own body can be wild. Thought-provoking and impossible to put down, this is an era-defining novel that brilliantly captures and reflects the shifting cultures more. More is transforming our relationships and society itself. I want to read this so bad for my dark academia phase. I want to read it. And I'm putting this in a dark academia phase because of the trigger warnings and English literature, that's why. Um, last but not least, I finally picked up House of Leaves. I've been thinking about this book for four months after I watch Katie Coulson's reading vlog. So I am so excited to read this. It's gonna take a lot of time to read this. It's going to take actual work. And I have sticky notes to actually annotate this book and do all that, and I'm excited to actually do that. I don't know when I would start this, probably around my dark academia phase in like a few weeks but i'm so excited to read this house of leaves how do i explain this years ago when the house of leaves was first being passed around it was nothing more of a badly bundled heap of paper parts of which would occasionally surface on the internet no one could anticipate the small but devoted following this terrifying story would soon commend starting with an odd assortment of marginalized youth, musici musicians, tattoo artists, programmers, strippers, environmentalists, and adrenaline junkies, the book eventually made its way in the hands of older generations who not only found themselves in these strangely arranged pages but also discovered a way back into the lives of their estranged children. Now for the first time this astonishing novel is made available in book form, complete with the original colored words, vertical footnotes, and newly added second and third appendices. The story remains unchanged, focusing on a young family that moves into a small home on Ash Tree Lane where they discover something terribly wrong. Their house is bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. So this book is full of twists and turns, a lot of crazy stuff. No page is the same on this book. It's literally psychotic and I can't wait to dive in. But that, my friends, is the end of this book haul. My voice is giving out. It's 11 a.m. 
I want to start reading. I'm going to get this video up for you tomorrow. That is the end of this vlog. I have a lot to do, a lot of reading that I'm excited to do. I'm going to start my new reading vlog. And yes, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my fall haul. Let me know if you heard of any of these books or let me know in the comments what books you plan on reading or what is on your most anticipated TBR. I would love to know in the comments. You know I love to chat with you guys. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.